Picture Book Woman presents Pat Gramling on using picture books and related activities to explore metamorphosis. In the mid-1600s, most people believed that insects came from rotting material like meat, plants, even mud. This theory of spontaneous generation dated back to ancient Greece. It thrived throughout the Middle Ages when insects were considered beasts of the devil. In 1660, a young German girl named Maria Sibylla Marion began studying the transformation of silkworms into moss. It was the start of a lifelong passion for observing and painting nature, particularly insect life cycles. Marion tells her story in the fascinating picture book Summer Birds by Margarita Engel. She was one of the first artists to depict caterpillars and butterflies with the plants on which they fed. She could have been accused of witchcraft for her ideas but her observations confirmed that these small creatures grew and changed in predictable patterns. Although she is remembered primarily as an artist, Miriam demonstrated many of the skills of a great scientist, asking questions, gathering information, and recording observations. The study of metamorphosis is a great topic to encourage practice of these skills. Metamorphosis can be defined in developmentally appropriate terms, such as growing, changing, in different shapes. But don't let big words intimidate you. Young children are intrigued by big words and are often enthusiastic to learn more about them. That enthusiasm is easy to maintain when you approach science concepts with a sense of fun and discovery. That's why I like to start a discussion of metamorphosis by reading The Caterpillar and the Pollywog by Jack Kent. In this delightful book, a sassy caterpillar tells her friend the Pollywog about her plans to change into something else. He wants to change into something else, too, but doesn't know what that would be. While patiently waiting and watching her cocoon, the polywog changes into a frog. One of my favorite projects with this book is retelling the life cycle stories through dramatics. A group could perform a reader's theater script or physically reenact a story with puppets or sandwich board signs. From the caterpillar and the polywog, you can expand into a science unit with a more detailed study of butterflies or of frogs. Picture books can be a great asset here as well. I like to use summer birds when introducing learning opportunities about butterflies. Where Butterflies Grow by Joan Ryder with fantastic illustrations by Lynn Cherry follows the life cycle of a black swallowtail butterfly, one of my favorite butterflies. The magnificent paintings are full of details and place metamorphosis in context and in a seasonal timeline. Both these butterfly books set the stage for a number of excellent learning activities. Use pictures of butterflies and moths for matching and sorting activities. Put picture cards of butterfly life cycle stages in the correct order. Create a butterfly book which goes through the same life cycle. Do a seasonal meadow investigation where you go into the same area several times throughout a season. This is an awesome summer activity. Hatch and release butterflies. If you are not successful at finding your own, painted lady butterfly eggs and larvae are hardy and can usually be purchased through a school supplier. You can also go from the caterpillar and the polywog into a study of frogs and their metamorphosis. I used frogs by Gail Gibbons to anchor a study of this familiar amphibian. This book, like others by this author, is a young reader friendly resource. It has colorful pictures that support the text with drawings and diagrams that are appropriate and well labeled. I also use Hop Frog by Rick Krastowski. In this book, large colorful paintings and simple text explain the metamorphosis of a leopard frog. Several activities naturally follow reading these books. Compare and contrast the characteristics of frogs and toads. Draw or color pictures depicting the life cycle of a frog. Practice sequencing by creating a frog folio that shows the stages of the frog life cycle. Do a seasonal pond investigation. This is great for spring moving into summer. Observe and record frog metamorphosis in an aquarium. The five books I've mentioned so far make up my basic metamorphosis library. But there are many more excellent picture books featuring butterflies and moths, frogs and toads. I also recommend Frogs Sing Songs and Butterflies Fly, both by Yvonne Weiner. And for something related yet truly unique, 
I like to share The Butterfly Alphabet by Cal Sandved or Tuesday by David Weisner. More projects, photos, and patterns are available on my website, along with many more ideas for learning with picture books. This video presentation was written and performed by Pat Gramling, the picture book woman. For more activities and ideas for using picture books to enhance learning, please visit her website at www.picturebookwoman.com.